We can't take care of the kids we bring forth. Then for goodness sake, let's do something about it. Let's make adoption the standard part of a regular family, even if there is biological children born in a family, there is room for an adopted child. I urge you, ask others who are at the age when it is possible for them to to adopt people with stable families and sufficient income without being extravagant. It's time to ask those families a very simple question. When they gather for a family meal, the parents should ask themselves, is there room at this table for one more child? I am willing to say that with the size of families these days, for the most part, the answer is yes. I urge you to join in the promotion of adoption. Our resolution is not there to raise money for our fund of our slate. That's not the main issue. The main issue is a change of attitude. The main issue is a change of outlook. The main issue is a change in the way in which we treat children who are born and maybe unwanted or uncared for or will wind up in public institutions or public foster care. These children deserve better. They deserve good families of any race, creed, or color. Adoption also enriches the senior family life. Just think, to bring a ch an international child, for instance, into your home, what that says to other children that you may have, or to other children in your neighborhood. It will bring diversity of outlook, diversity of color and race. It will bring a solid message of enrichment for themselves and for the, for the family. In Wrestling, you probably have heard that Kenny Bednari won the silver medal in some race at the Olympics. I forget the race, but he won it. Kenny Bednarik is one of three adopted children by a singular parent. Kenny Bednarik. Is a name.
He also had James Minor, an international adopted child from Guatemala. James came to the family at about three or four years old. When James was in middle school, he began to raise money to build houses in Guatemala. Good, solid houses. As a middle school student, he stood before the rotary of Rice Lake and told them about his work and got a solid commitment to several thousand dollars over several years to build houses. James Meyer and his adopted sister, my blood sister, domestic adoption, her sister, is a proud and contributing citizen of our city, and is a proud participant in the worship of St. Joseph's Parish. James Meyer, besides all of those things, is an accomplished we are proud of James Meyer. Tony is 37 years old now. He was in foster care in Nevada when his parents were involved in the military. Unable to have children of their own, they decided that they would take Tony in to their home. At his second grade, the teacher told them that they should put Tony in an institution because he won't amount to anything. Tony learned the skills of being with others. Tony learned the skills of social interaction. Tony eventually went to school and he graduated from high school on the usual age with a second year college reading capacity. Tony works now two days a week at a cheese factory that is right near his home. Tony is a delight and a proud member of our area people. Adoption should be the church's response to the certain, almost certain, reversal of Roe versus Wade. It's very simple. If we say we treasure the lives of these unborn children, then we darn well better be able to take care of them. And it starts here. to attract to our 
other membership. Men of family, growing family age, 30 to 50 age. I've been at many exemplifications. You know what most of them have hair is what is on. Okay? If we would show these families that we are interested in supporting them, in caring for them, and bringing them good, solid people, then indeed, excuse me, then indeed, we would attract more members. Apparently, we don't be for good. So what can you do? Number one, identify and honor the families of adopted children. Number two, encourage adoption in your own parish. Put adoption in your prayers. Use the intercession of St. Joseph who adopted Jesus. Have a mass offered for children in need of adoption and adopted families. Promote adoption among your associates. Make it easy for your parishes, parishioners to adopt Tell them about help that's available, including from the Rice Lake Council. More importantly, start something local in your area that fits your local circumstances to promote adoption. And for God's sake, treat God for children and children in foster care equally as a public children. Thank you for your time.